Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're gonna test the latest T-Rex Miner, which gives even more performance on LHR GPUs. I feel like I say that every video, but this one's really good. Stay tuned, we're gonna test my RTX 3080 Ti's. So let's take a look at the update here. So T-Rex Miner 25.10, currently in beta, might be in public release by the time you watch this, but if not, if you want the beta version or to keep up to date with the beta versions, you can join the T-Rex Miner Discord. So what you can see here is that for Ethereum, it's improved LHR unlock functionality by a few percent. Stay tuned, because that's absolutely true. I've been testing this for over a day now. But to rewind a little bit, the last time I posted a video on LHR Unlock Progress is when I did Law Miner 1.47, which it probably seems like Law Miner made some progress. T Rex developers went and looked at all that and even pushed it a little bit further. So, in that video, I tested my RTX 3080 Ti's. And you can see right here, I was getting around 90 mega hash, 91 mega hash on those GPUs. Uh, but I'm doing even better now. So, I'm excited to take a look at the progress that the TRX miner developers have made. So looking now in Hive OS, I've been mining for over 24 hours on these GPUs. First of all, just ignore GPU three, because that is thermal throttling, because that GPU, that GPU just kind of sucks a little bit. So I got to do some work on that one, but that GPU is thermal throttling, so ignore that one. But let's take a look at all the rest of them. So you can see I'm hitting 94, 95, 92, and almost 95 mega hash on the rest of these RTX 3080 Ti's. Again, let's take a look at what I was getting for direct comparison with Law Miner using the same overclocks on every GPU except the gigabyte, I changed a little bit. Because the question that I was asking myself is, how much better is this? And you can see even on, let's take a look at GPU one, which was hitting 92 mega hash, that's the EVGA for the win three, on law miners now hitting over 95 mega hash. So when we look in totality, each GPU by itself is adding about three mega hash onto what it was before with law miner 1.47. So T-Rex miner developers have taken it to the extreme for this method of LHR unlock to get us even more performance out of these GPUs. The second question I had was how about wattage? And I haven't tested this inline or at the wall yet but just looking at software wattage, it looks to be pretty much around the same, plus or minus a couple watts. And the one thing to keep in mind, which I've talked about before and done some testing on, is that the software rep uh, wattage reportings for LHR GPUs is just not accurate when they're doing the unlocks. They do these crazy spikes. I have some videos testing that. So don't use the software wattage as law when you are wiring up rigs or building new rigs because it's going to use more than that when it does its LHR stuff. But wanted to bring this video to you guys. I'm super excited to see continued progress made. I mean, now if we switch over here and look at the miner, the unlock is 78.7%. And it that's it. This one is 78.8. I might even test bringing that a step further and seeing if I can get that higher versus letting it do its automatic stuff. But I'm really excited to see the progress that TRX miner developers have made and all the progress all the mining developers have made over the over the months and months and months prior. So that's my RTX 3080 Ti's. I would love to hear from all of you with any LHR GPUs you have. Have you tested this new T-Rex miner yet? Let me know down in the comments section below what results you are getting. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. Follow me on Twitter. Instagram links are down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.